Hi everyone, um, welcome to another video on matrix transformations. Today's lesson we are looking at the transformation dilation. So dilation literally means um, the act of making something bigger or smaller, wider, changing the size. So it's transforming to change the size. So you can make a matrix, multiply it by a point, and it will move that point. So if we say take the corners of a square, make those points, multiply them by the matrix, it could make the square bigger, or it could make the square smaller by this dilation transformation. Okay, so... If you read this question, it's saying the equation undergoes dilation 2 from the x-axis. So the dilation matrix is quite simple. So it's a transformation, so we're going to call it T. In this example, we're moving in the y direction, so we're going to make that number down there a 2. Let's call this the new function or the image and we're going to multiply the transformation times the original function p. Now, we've got 1, 0, 0, 2, this is the transformation matrix times by p. So you're left with row by column makes it an x row by column 2y. So this new x, new y, that's what the dash is, the image of x and the image of y is equal to x 2y. So the x hasn't changed, the y has been If we put these into this equation here, we're going to get our new equation. Dx dash is equal to x, so I'm subbing in x dash equals to x. I'm going to sub in y, so this y isn't by itself, so let's isolate y. So y dash equals 2x dash squared. So that's dilated away from the x by 2. So visually it looks like this. This was the original function here. And it's moved away from the x-axis to this new function here, g. So it's moved from this to this. So if you wanted to move a function, uh, let's say we want to move a point, we want to move it, instead of moving it that way, we want to move it from parallel for, to the x-axis, parallel, or away from the y-axis, we, we will use the transformation matrix that has a number a up the top here. And that would move the point or image in that direction on the axes. If we want to move it that way, like we did in the example, we need to use a number down here. So in the example I use the number 2. There you have it, that's a transformation matrix dilation, transforming forming images, lines, points, whatever you want using that matrix.